Welcome to the personal property tour for the Elms in Park Place, Ely. Now guys, the property behind me here is a new property for let. It is five bedrooms, two receptions, it's got amazing outside space and a bit of a labyrinth of rooms. So we're going to take you on the tour around the property inside today. So guys, property from the outset, the Elms is the entire property here, including the front garden and we'll take you around and look at the rear garden as well. So let's head inside. We'll just pause for a second to appreciate. This is stone built, you've got the bay window here. These are all sash and case. And the features inside are amazing. So let's head inside for a look at what it has to offer. As I say, the Elms, it is a five bedroom, but that does include, there is an annex out the rear of the property which does accommodate living space and a bedroom. So just to appreciate this entrance, you've got the tile floor here, the original tile floor. That is such an amazing feature. When we go through the property, you will notice there is a lot of furnishings in here. The property was previously a holiday let and has been for some time, but the size of this entrance vestibule is amazing. You've got the shoe rack here and room for a chair and just ample space and then you enter through this timber door with the glazed inlet and I'm sure you will agree that this is a spectacular entrance hall. Those stairs leading to the upper level with that timber ballast rail, the, I mean I don't have enough time to show you how much detail is in this property. You really need to be here in person to appreciate that. We'll head upstairs just in a bit but we're going to step off to the left through these double glazed, uh, double doors with the glazed inlets into the main living area. You'll see a lot of nice features like the ceiling rows and this, the uh, cornicing here. You can't maybe see as much detail. Yeah, here you go. The detail in that is just amazing. And you've got that bay window there as well. And the original storm shutters on the windows. You've also got the cast iron radiator there. And of course you've got the log burner as well in here. This is a spectacular size of a room. So that's one reception room. If we head on, the property loops round and back to the entrance hallway. So we'll start off this way. On the ground floor, we have one um, bedroom. So it's a good sized double room. It's on the corner of the property here. So you've got the two windows letting lots of light in here. Again, ample space for furnishings and things in here. So a good size and it's a bright room. You can see the sun shining today. And just off that, we have downstairs bathroom, a uh, shower room, sorry. So you've got the shower enclosure. It's a really high quality finish, these tiles and the toilet, shower enclosure and wash hand basin. You've got the extractor fan and things in here too. That leads then on through the hallway to the kitchen area. The kitchen is quite contemporary and finished and it's got quite a lot of mod cons. You've got the integrated uh, fridge, freezer, oven, grill, hob, extractor. You've got this, the sink and draining board there, this white gloss finish and the walnut top and the window looks out to the rear and then if we continue round into the next reception room which is the dining room now this has got six chairs set up but you've got additional chairs here because you would be able to fit eight round this easily and then this leads back out into the lower hall but before we do so i'm just going to take you out to the rear of the garden just to appreciate this outside space so laid to lawn, you've got these lovely uh, flagstone paved all the way up. You've got space here for seating. Down at the rear of the property, you've got this beautiful greenhouse, which is set right at the foot of the garden and the, the afternoon sun is just going down over there. This is the property from the rear. So you could see, and you've also got additional seating areas with the sleeper style 
uh, timber there and other seating areas to appreciate the sun at different times of the day. This is the separate annex that I told you about. So if we head in here, this is all double glazed doors. And then in here, this is amazing. So it's got the kitchenette with all the appliances and things as well. And then you've got the sofa lounge area, which is ample space to have a bed. And I think this is a sofa bed anyway, obviously it was the holiday let, as I said. And then you've got the shower room in here as well. So this is completely self-contained. Finished really nice. So yeah, an additional bedroom, but at the same time, a complete self-contained unit out the rear of the property. So that's a brilliant addition. This garden in the summer will be spectacular. But let's head back in and finish the tour on the upper level. So we'll go back into the dining area and pick back up where we left off. So kitchen, we came through, round in the loop from the living room, into this small hallway at the back, which leads again to an additional shower room, big enclosure there. That's a wet wall, wash hand basin, low level toilet, heated towel rail, tiled floor and also storage. And then this brings us back out into the entrance hallway where we came in from the front door to the foot of the stairs and we'll head upstairs to the upper level. There's a split in the landing here with a big window which looks out to the rear. I mean, that balustrade straight is just amazing. And then back down to the lower level. Again, the, level, the landing splits again. And then we get up onto the top floor. You can appreciate the size of this landing. You've got a, a three-seater couch there. You've got chairs here as well. These are storage cupboards. And then this is the main bedroom. This is a really good size room. Again, you've got all the decorative co uh, cornicing and the ceiling rows. Now this is set up with the two beds as it was a holiday let. This log burner, look at that. The character in this property is amazing. And then look at that mirror. That's spectacular. So guys, and then we'll head back out into the landing. And then you've got this hallway that leads to two bedrooms. You've got the main bathroom here. Again, finished really uh, to a modern standard with the jacuzzi bath. You've got these really nice metallic tiles. And you've got the shower enclosure there. Low level toilet and the wash hand basin. And these windows face out to the rear of the property, but they are opaque. And you've got the extractor fan and things as well. So, heading back along this hallway, you've got further two bedrooms. Now this bedroom again, it's set up with two beds in it. It's on the corner of the property above the room downstairs. A nice bright room with the afternoon sun. And then this, prop the, this room in the property has ensuite shower room. So the corner shower enclosure, it's all wet wall in here again. Tiled floor and the low level toilet and wash hand basin. Got a vanity unit on the wall and the extractor fan as well. And then we'll head back through. And this is the last bedroom which again, still a good size double, still retains those features of the cornicing. This looks out over the rear garden. And it also has the Jack and Jill door into the main bathroom. So every room is facilitated with a bathroom or a shower room. And then this brings us back onto the main landing. So guys, I'm sure you will agree this is a spectacular property in a really sought after area of the East Nuke. The Elms guys in Ely, it is a five bedroom. I think we've got four bathrooms 
We have that all important annex, that beautiful outside space, and of course, the location itself. Coming to the market for let, guys, this one will not sit around long. Please message me direct on social media or speak to one of the lettings team on 01 333 424 188. I'm Richard Cook, guys. This is Five Properties.